Hey everyone, close your eyes for a moment. Now, imagine opening them and suddenly finding half your vision is gone. This sounds scary, right? Well, that's the reality for people who experience NAION, an eye emergency many people may never have heard of. But by the end of this video, you'll know the signs and symptoms and what to do if it ever happens to you or a loved one. Trust me, this is information everyone should have. So I want to talk about NAION or non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Yes, it's a mouthful, I know, but here's what you need to know. NAION is the most common cause of sudden vision loss in people over 50. It happens when the blood supply around your optic nerve gets cut off and the result can be severe, even permanent vision loss. And here's the scary part. NAION often strikes without warning. One minute you're seen fine and the next your vision's blurry or cloudy. This usually affects the lower part of your field of view, but it can vary. So what exactly is NAION and how can you recognize it? I'm gonna dive deeper. NAION can feel like a thief in the night, literally. Imagine your optic nerve is like a busy highway, constantly shuffling visual information to your brain. Now picture a sudden traffic jam cutting off that flow. That's what NAION does. It blocks blood flow to the optic nerve, which swells and creates a roadblock in your vision. This happens in the optic disc, a tiny area, just one millimeter in size. But when it gets blocked, your vision takes a hit. And here's the kicker. Most people who experience an NAION are over 50. But certain health conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol also increase your risk. So who's exactly at risk? NAION doesn't discriminate based on gender. But if you're over 50 or have the health conditions mentioned before, you're in the higher risk group. Also, it primarily affects Caucasians with 95% of cases occurring in this demographic. Now, there's a condition that sounds familiar. AAION, which stands for Arteritic Anterior Ischemic Optic Neuropathy. This is caused by inflammation in the arteries, and it comes with symptoms like headaches or scalp tenderness. NAION, on the other hand, doesn't come with these additional symptoms, making it sneakier and harder to spot. Okay, so how do you know if you are experiencing an NAION? First and foremost, an NAION typically presents with sudden vision loss, usually in one eye. And here's something weird, it often happens overnight. Yep, you go to bed seeing clearly and wake up with part of your vision missing. Why overnight though? Well, experts believe it's due to low blood flow pressure while you sleep, a condition called nocturnal hypotension. The dip in blood flow can trigger an NAION in those already at risk. And so what does this vision loss look like? It's often not complete blackout of vision. Many people with it experience what's called an altitudinal field loss, meaning you lose vision in the upper or lower half of your visual field but most commonly in the lower half. Other signs include a central scotoma, which is like having a blurry or dark spot right in the middle of your vision, making it hard to read or recognize faces. And if you notice a sudden difficulty distinguishing colors, particularly in one eye, that's another red flag. But here's something important to note. An NAION doesn't usually cause pain, which can make it harder to detect. If you wake up with painless vision loss in one eye, you need to get checked out immediately. And really, I wanna talk one more time because I can't stress this enough about who's at most risk for an NAION. And like I said earlier, age is a big factor. If you're over 50, your risk goes up significantly. But age isn't the only factor. Diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol also increase your chances. Almost half of NAION patients have high blood pressure and about 24% have diabetes. And here's something you might not expect, sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, or OSAS, has a strong connection with NAION. Up to 75% of NAION patients have sleep apnea, which can lead to lower blood flow to the optic nerve during sleep. If you snore loudly or feel tired throughout the day, it might be worth getting tested for sleep apnea, especially if you're in that higher risk age group. And certain medications like phosphodiesterase, 
type 5 inhibitors, a common known one is Viagra, can also increase your risk. These medications can reduce blood flow to the optic nerve, so it's something to discuss with your doctor if you're already experienced in NAION in one eye. And how do doctors diagnose this? Well, it really starts with a comprehensive eye exam where your doctor will look for swelling in the optic disc known as optic disc edema. They'll also test for something called a relative afferent pupillary defect, which shows how your pupils respond to light. Doctors also will use visual field tests to map out any blind spots, and they might also do something called a fluorescein angiography, which checks how blood flows through your optic disc. Sometimes an MRI is recommended to rule out other conditions like optic neuritis or compressive lesions. And here is the tough part. There is no magic pill to cure or even treat NAION. The damage is often permanent, so the goal is to prevent further vision loss and protect your other eye. The best way to manage NAION is to address the underlying risk factors, things like controlling blood pressure, managing diabetes, and even treating sleep apnea with a CPAP machine. If you've already had an NAION in one eye, avoiding certain medications like Viagra might help protect the other eye. Researchers are exploring new treatments, which maybe will aim to prevent cell death in the optic nerve, and there are other promising therapies. But right now, managing your overall health is key and your only option. And I really wanna talk about what life looks like after an NAION. About 43% of people will see some improvement in their vision, but blind spots and visual defects often remain. And the good news is the risk of this happening again in the same eye is less than 5% but the risk of it affecting the other eye can be as high as 24% over five years. So if you have sleep apnea and don't treat it, your risk goes up. So using that CPAP machine could make a big difference, not just for your sleep, but for your vision too. In addition to treating sleep apnea, what else can you do to protect your vision? First, regular eye checkups are crucial, especially if you're over 50 or have risk factors like diabetes or sleep apnea. Catching problems early can help you take steps to prevent further damage. Secondly, manage your overall health. If you snore or often feel tired during the day, talk to your doctor about sleep apnea. And finally, if you've ever experienced sudden vision loss, do not wait, get to your doctor immediately. Quick action could save your sight. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has given you the knowledge to protect your eye health. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about NAION or other eye health topics. Take care of your eyes, and they'll take care of you. Until next time, take care.